morning everybody welcome back to part three over here at Gabe Brewer jr. at Picadome if you haven't seen the first two parts please go back and check those out we've been doing pretty good so far a little bit uh, better than average kind of around average but uh, we're ready to see what uh, the rest of this course has to offer let's go have some more fun Hole 13, par 4, 380 yards. Take a drive over this creek, up over those that hill, and I'm going to imagine there's a flag somewhere up there. Looks like I pulled that one left up into those trees right there. All right, not very good. Kind of barely just kind of flubbed it past that tree right there. Okay, like I say, just past this tree. I've got 99 yards to the green, to the flag. I'm gonna go a 50 degree and just kind of knock it up there. Thin to win, never wins for me, over the green. Hole number 14, it's a par four, about 440 yards, goes out over this ridge, drops down, and I think somewhere before that green is that creek we've been crossing back and forth. Decent drive. Slight pull with a slight draw down the left hand side. I'm going to think I'm going to be in the left rough. Well, I ended up right here in the rough. I've got this tree in my way. I've got a creek before the green. I'm going to have to take my lumps. I'm going to have to punch it down this hill into the fairway and try to get an up and down. That'll be safe. Well, after we laid up here in the middle of the fairway, we left ourselves about 84 yards to that flag. We're gonna try and hit that same easy sand wedge we did earlier that we left short and try not to leave it short this time. Now pulled it a little bit left, got it on the green, but still kind of short. This is gonna be a fun shot. We've got a very big steep hill right here. Looks like it goes from left to right. All that just for a par. As we continue to ride that bogey train, we find ourselves over here on hole 15. Par three, about 179 yards, down and up. Little sand trap there to the right. Let's go get in the middle of the green. Looks like 
Looks like we found that sand trap. Well, this looks more like a mud trap. This could really suck. Not shabby for me. The sand trap can kind of be a nemesis of mine. Maybe I like mud traps. As we calm ourselves from that major disappointment, welcome to hole 16. It's a par four. Looks like it goes off to the right. It's about 365 yards. Let's try to clean up this back nine. It's sucking. Okay. Beautiful drive down the center of the fairway. Let's start cleaning this up. That was a good drive. I've got 115 yards to the flag. Everything's been short, but I'm gonna take a pitching wedge at this and try to get it right next close. Okay, straight at it. A little bit past. You can see that one landed kind of close. Not that bad of a shot. Hole 17, par five. We're gonna go up over this ridge, down, and then I believe it is somewhere over on the right hand side, kind of dog legs to the right around those trees. I did not square that one up. So I sliced it over into the trees. I've really got to get better at that. All right, as you can see, I hit it really bad. I bounced off trees, landed right here. I'm gonna to have to punch it out, get it out into the fairway, and you know, try to still get that part the old fashioned way. Okay, decent shot. Ran through the fairway, into the rough, into that shadow. Well, heck, I'm over here, and apparently this hole snakes, and it's gonna snake back around these trees here. To right in between there is where the flag is, but fairway is kind of over here. This is gonna be a tough shot. Well, I'm playing this par five about as bad as you can get. I've still got 195 yards. I have no way in heck of getting there. So I'm just gonna hit an eight iron over the corner of this tree and get into that fairway and then try to get it up and down from there. Kind of threw the tree a little bit, 
but I think it's gonna work out fine. Okay, kind of plopped out of this tree right here. Got 105 yards with that flag. Shot number four. I'm gonna take a rough guess and think that that's a little bit long. I hit it pretty darn good. Okay, well, that was a bummer. Last hole, hole 18. It's another par five. It goes down here. I think it looks like it goes off to the left once it goes over that ridge where those guys are walking. It's about 530 yards. Let's see if I can not screw this one up. Well, as you can tell, as you can tell from that four, duck cooked it left over that guy's head. Okay, if there's any reason why this fairway looks like it's familiar, it's because you've seen it before. You saw this fairway on the ninth hole when I drove it right into the 10th fairway. You saw this on the 10th hole where I actually hit a ball into the fairway. Well, now you're seeing it again on the 18th hole where I hit left over into this fairway. I've still got a good 200 and many more yards left, but what I got up there is there is this uh, creek over on the right hand side, somewhere about 215 yards. So I'm just gonna take my three hybrid. Again, I've been only hitting it about 190, 200 tops. And I'm gonna get it back out into the fairway and uh, still try to get this par. Well, it looks like I flubbed it into the fairway at the very least. Let's go play that shot. All right, this is still my third shot. I've still got to go way down there, get over that crick, and up that hill where those guys are. I am just tearing up these par fives. Okay, I think I'm short of the green right next to that sand trap. Maybe we can get this up and down. Well, that's it, everybody. That's the end of this 18 over here at Gay Brewer Junior Golf Course at Picadome in Lexington, Kentucky. It was a rough back nine, as you just saw. I didn't do a whole lot right, but it is, you know, my goal here with uh, Hard Par Golf to give you real golf. 
I know we got to cut in and out so it's not overly long and uh, crazy for you but you're gonna see good shots you're gonna see bad shots you're gonna see the round of golf the way it is uh, apparently my handicaps gonna go up after this round that's golf four-letter word golf thank you for coming out with me if you like these videos please click like I'd really appreciate that if you want to see more click subscribe we're going to try and put videos out every Tuesday and Thursday and we're going to try and do a different course from around the area until then you have a great day